start the recording and then I'm gonna do a okay so I'm gonna drink my water okay so three two one Hello everyone and welcome back to another Godzilla Battle Light video and today I am joined by Rick the Squirrel. Rick, say hi. What's up, boys? Uh, we've been trying to make this video go on, uh, you know, we're not go on, but we've been trying to make this video for a little while, but I've been super busy, been putting it off a little bit, but now we're here, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to talk about units in the game, rebalancing, and maybe future units that we would like to see. So before I even get started on anything rick do you want to let the people know where they can find you if they uh, like what you have to say here twitter youtube what do you got well i got a uh, twitter but i don't think i'm going to be active on it too much because i kind of want to take a break from it because you know that place is hell and uh, <laughs> very understandable yeah i have a youtube channel i've had it for a while and surprisingly for some reason like forty-seven thousand people subscribe to me but only like two people watch me so if you <laughs> didn't know i have a youtube channel i post stuff right now i'm going through all the movies and highlighting the best shots i think from each movie right now and I'm gonna make a bunch of other random content just i love doing stuff that i want to do on that channel it's just a hobby for me i want to try to get on what we do here mm -hmm. i just wanted to get on instagram as well i have an instagram there i also have letterbox because i like movies and i want to make a movie one day i got something funny like a short film I want to do someday, but that's an, for another time. Well, so, you yeah. heard that. If you like Rick the Squirrel, go to his Twitter, go to his YouTube. It's the same name. They're both Rick the Squirrel, right? Oh, yeah. Except for Letterboxd, it's Dead Memes. That's my middle name, Dead Memes. There you go. Instead of Except Letterboxd, the other two are Rick the Squirrel. Mm -hmm. So, Rick, while I have you here, and it was... Your original idea to talk about stuff like this, do you have a particular character that you would like to see rebalanced while we just get into the topic of conversation? It's just interesting that at the beginning of this year, they got a lot of like low cost units that are like really powerful because that usually was like reserved for the high cost stuff because it made sense. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that the more we get them, it's like we have like 10 or 12 of them, but they don't have any more nerfs anymore for units, but they keep buffing them. Yeah. But it's only like once, one or two at a time for each month, and sometimes it doesn't even matter for those buffs. So to me, it's like, should we nerf the ones that they introduce, or should we like buff every single one? Because it takes more time, because we have like almost 100 units now, and like out of those 10, there's like 80 of them that we would have to buff to make them good or usable. And some of them are yeah. just like, please kill me. Like, yeah, freaking that's like, uh, that's like a common uh, question I get all the time is, uh, you know, do newer characters need nerf or why don't they nerf characters anymore? Mm -hmm. And I've gone over it a lot on the channel. Um, from my experience playing games like this, uh, I'm going to talk about strictly through about Marvel Strike Force real quick. With right. Marvel Strike Force, um, they used to, like when the game was like a, like a year two years old three years old they would go through and like every other patch or something they'd be like oh this character's getting nerfed like this character's too strong this character's getting nerfed and here's all the ones that are getting buffed but then it came to a point where the game was just a little too expensive and people were paying like up the ass for like black bolt and then like black bolt would get nerfed not he hasn't gotten nerfed but hype is like that is like a example scenario like we pay a lot for black bolt black bolt's really good dominates the arena and then he gets nerfed right so People would get mad at that. Now what they've done is they've stopped nerfing characters. I think Marvel Strike Force has gone maybe like three or four years without a single nerf. And instead what they'll do is they will continue to introduce extremely powerful teams and then bring up older units little by little. So for example, um, next month in Marvel Strike Force, so August, they are introducing the Annihilators team, which is going to be a new Thanos and a new or Gladiator and who else? Uh, Gore the God Butcher, but Ultimus and Silver Surfer, who have been in the game for years and are have fallen out because of power crept, just got huge, like huge stat boosts. So that's kind of what they're doing, and I think Battle Line is doing something similar, where every month now we see older units get some kind of boost. Some, and most of the time, it's inconsequential. Uh, other times, 
it is pretty good. Des Ghidorah got a really good buff this season. Oh, Mecha yeah, King Ghidorah right. got a really good buff this season. And then they introduced two, both Gyron and Flying Gamera are really good units just in general. So I think that no one is going to get nerfed in this game ever again unless we complain about it. Oh, right? Yeah. Like with Kumo Augment. Kumo Augment, the two nerfs that he got... I think might actually legitimately be the last two nerfs that anyone in this game has received, and that was May of 2023. And that's because people complained about it. But no one's been complaining, at least at, least at the same level. Um, yeah. I think maybe online people complain about the chibis. People want the chibis oh. to be rebalanced, but no I... one is taking it to Toho, so it's not going to happen. I think they should be a five costume, personally. I like them at four. I think they're fine. I, know, I think there's I know plenty of ways around them. I, there is, but it's just like they're that like whatever GB Godzilla does with Mecha, like that is like that. Mm -hmm. That the compel effect, that compel effect is so powerful. Like the, that's the most powerful thing other than like resurrecting. Like that's the most powerful yeah. tool. That that, that compel is crazy. The resurrecting is insane, and also when the Chibi Godzilla goes down and the Mecha Godzilla gets like his health back and a bunch of buffs like they have like act on ironically like the longest stat description of anybody in the game period end of story like it is, thought, it like, is insane i feel like that's why i think they should be like in the middle of the cost because they got so many like switchblade like so many tools mm -hmm. to them because if i were to like say like put because if you put them next to other four costs, like, there's no comparison. At no, all. they they knew anything pretty much under five, they are the best. Mm-hmm. I mean... That's why I think they should be, like, a five cost, at least. Because they... Yeah. I could, mm -hmm. I could get behind them being a five cost. Like, if they're going to bring Batra down to a four cost, they can mm -hmm. bring the Chibis to a five. Especially I don't think that's going to happen for a little while, but... It's technically, like, a swarm unit in a way, right? I guess they're kind of like the Mbob pair where there's two of them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And we're going to get more duo units in the future. Um, oh, yeah. Sonda and Gyra were on oh. the vote poll like two years ago as Sonda slash Gyra. That would have been a duo. I was wondering unit. if that was going to be a single or like it was going to be like two units, like one each separately, or is it going to be like two together? Like it looked like it was going to be a duo. The way it was described, it seemed like it'd be a duo, and then the way they mentioned them in the third anniversary blog post also seemed like Sanda and Guy would be a duo there too. There's also more chibis they could add: the Chibi and Giris, Rodan, um, Mothra. Mm -hmm. King Ghidorah, they have that whole show. They could do the God. They mentioned doing the Godziban brothers as a unit as well. So Godzibon that would Bagon, be three. Because if it wasn't for Godziban, we wouldn't have Bagon, Bagon getting like a lot of stuff now. I was convinced he was going to get added. Um, he might when be he was added the to the future. show originally, but I think in the future, like you just said, he would probably get added. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of wanted to go. I'm. Uh, hopefully that it doesn't like bother you like if we go through every single unit like i'll try to make it quick that is you know like, that would take i think a little too long i think we should just pick our favorites and okay. and just talk about well, what we like I, what we desperately think needs changes like for me i i want hetera the three star hetera to see a change what would you I do think, with her? i think she is not strong enough i don't mind the i think the health is a little low i don't mind the health being super low um because she is a three star i'd maybe bump her health up by like an extra 200 points um i think she's just also just too slow in general i don't i don't mind the speed i would take her attack up and That's then i would also have on attack it would give the acid effect that wakasa bailante has right that's what i Ooh, would change yeah. i would give her a little bit more hp i would give her like 300 or three and a half like 350 points extra of attack and then i would give her acid on hit she doesn't have to be busted because she's a three star but at least somewhat usable and i think giving her that acid ability would make her it would make her usable because she's not the only character that i think could benefit from get retroactively getting something that another character has like stealth bomber deserves to have invisibility like naranga mm -hmm. it's a stealth bomber it's I... not stealthy mm-hmm keep forgetting about that yeah i think like stealth bomber should be like a four cost like it does decent damage but like it 
I think just all the ones that just keep running towards like the uh, leader should like mm. get some sort of workaround for them, like Gigan. Like, I feel like we should get like an alternate Gigan piece because like, I love Showa Gigan. He's a nice little goober. Like, we need mm. to get him into like they probably like use like his chainsaw as an alt form, like they did with Destroya for the leader ability. I, I mean, would I'd like. like that personally instead of an if i mean I, i'm fine with an alt form but if i could change one thing about this guy again because his stats are pretty decent mm -hmm. um he just can't defend himself i don't remember what the character is i think it's one of the shin godzilla forms or if you walk into them they'll attack you and take damage i that think was, that guy uh, should third form. yeah i i think guy should just do damage as he runs so if he like bumps into an enemy unit they just take damage so he would just have like a uh, very short range, like like in it, like Kong. his range is like five. Uh huh. Like, like if he has they... to tap the enemy, like they have to phys like touch physically or something, right. and that would take damage. Because mm -hmm. he'll that still run sense. past them, but because he has the buzz saw going when he's running, I kind of like the idea that them. I kind of like the idea that some units could just only attack air. And some mm -hmm. can only attack, you know, like how someone can, like, ground units can only attack ground. Like, maybe some ground units can only attack air, because I always just thought about how guy can, can just jump and swat, like, jets and stuff like that. I thought that would be kind of cool. Maybe an alternate piece. Yeah. And speaking of, like, the whole thing, like, the GVK units, because, man, I love me GVK, and these guys need a workaround. I was talking about in the Discord, but... If Godzilla 2021 had stun immune, perfect, and and like five costs because because how good like they got some good six cost units and these guys like they need to be like five cost. Khan should be four cost because his damage is not or like health is not as good as a uh, G89, which I think should be a six mm -hmm. cost, not seven cost, because he he's a good tank. In fact, I think. Like G eighty nine should have like the same like uh, arc thing that Con twenty one has, where he can like hit two of them or something like that. Instead of being yeah, a he has like a target. really yeah, he has like a super super like, close like AOE thing. I can see mm -hmm. that. Like they they both have the same AOE, but because Con has as like lower stats than G eighty nine, like G eighty nine six cost, Con is four cost, and I think he would be a very solid unit for like pushing against like the big boys if with big health pools mm -hmm. on the ground and yeah. mechagodzilla hit air hit air five cost yep yep so that's it that's you could it. even make him hit if his stats are pretty good now after that after the buff if you just made him hit air and kept them six cost he's probably fine i think five cost because of how how small his range is mm -hmm. i see i see mm -hmm. maybe a little too expensive to deploy because they'll go down pretty quickly yeah that, that's uh, I, kind of the problem is because we got good range mm -hmm. units, especially when they're low cost. Six cost is just not going to do it for um, Mechagodzilla 2021. So mm -hmm. I think five, mm -hmm. five cost for Godzilla and Mechagodzilla. And, you know, make, I don't think 21 can't be compelled when he's shooting someone with the... Uh, no, once he's locked on, he's locked on. I yeah, believe. because if he was compe it, compelled, it, like it's game over for him. Yeah, I mean, I would keep him six cost too. G twenty one, just make him stun immune, because his stun stats are all right. Would... If he's just stun immune for six cost, he's not letting go of his target. I There's think... no other way to make him let go. If we do that, I think we need to nerf Ariake because he's kind of the same thing. You need to have someone like distracting the enemy units in order for him to like pop off on them. Yeah, but the difference is Ariake. Like, the, the G21 takes forever to retarget and do his thing. So if you stop him from doing his thing, he's just going to go down. Ariake is, like, intentionally made to not be the primary pusher. Mm -hmm. Neither is G21. G21 is supposed to be in the back line, kind of like Ariake. But Ariake is always going to do his thing. G21 is going to stop doing his thing. So... Wouldn't it make more sense for 21 to be 5 cost and Ariaki to be 6 cost then? No, because if G21 is a 5 cost and 
if he's if he's stun immune, he should stay six. If he's not going to be stun immune, then I think he should go five. Because if he is stun immune and he's a five cost, he he will rinse health bars. Like if and he because his stats are pretty good now. The main reason he stops doing what he's doing is because of the stun. Destroy Ariake doesn't have a high health pool. This is why I will have the Gauss or Swarms come back into the meta, baby. Gauss are in meta. Oh, yeah, but I know. I just like other like Swarm mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, we would have a Swarm meta if we got G21. So we can like, that's why I'm like trying to get all the units to like be, do their own thing, like counteract. Because I kind of want to see not the, like the same type of mm -hmm. like thing going each like month because i'm kind of just tired of playing the exact same units over and over and over again i like to see like like people mix things up a little bit to make it more fun yeah i mean and i understand I... that there's been a thing with online games and stuff when there are, is the whole meta thing but i just wish developers or like play tested this stuff more so we could have a more balanced thing so everyone can like win if that depending on their strategy and stuff so. even even if you did that because i i'm a game developer it people will find what is better marginally than other stuff and and run with that you can argue you know i i, I would say like i play marvel I've, I've been playing a lot of marvel rivals and i think that's a pretty well-balanced game i think there are characters that are bad but i think if you put a lot of hours into like the hulk you will be good. Like, you will get wins as Hulk. Like, he's bad by default, but, like, if you put the time in, you can get it. I know plenty of players that are using off... What would be considered an off-meta team and then competing in the top 500. Like, Queen mm -hmm. uh, Neuravania uses a deck that's, like, primarily all the Godzillas. That's not exactly an extremely viable deck, but she's getting wins, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you... With enough time and, like... I, wanna, I don't want to say patience, but... With enough time and, like, you use a deck enough, like, you can learn good patterns to get around other characters or other players. Like, um, you played him. 99 Orga is committed to using Orga, and he's probably one of the best Orga players in the game. Period. Because he, he knows, like, all the ins and outs, exactly what the timers are going to be on stuff like that. He knows how to use it really well. Um, I've seen players that use G21 very effectively, even if G21 is not, like, optimal. I've seen people use, like, Jet Jaguar Classic to push back, like, Earths and stuff like that. There are there are always going to be characters that are the meta or, like, staples. But I I think the problem that Battleline has is sometimes they'll just introduce a character that is, like, leagues better than everything else. And, like, that is just what is going to be in everyone's deck for, like, seven months. Yeah, I, I, the other thing is, like, yeah, you can find that ways, like to mm -hmm. objectively like you know going through the stats and seeing like how good the numbers are and say like okay this is objectively going to get you more like optimal mm -hmm. ways to win but at the same time it's like we still should probably try our best to get to the point where where mm -hmm. it isn't freaking helicopter base versus freaking chibis yeah like and again that is just a uh it's just a function of games like this, like live service or gotcha, where they'll introduce something really powerful and then down the line there's counters. For example, Chibi's been pretty solid in the meta since what? When were they introduced? April? May? Um, I think April. Because everyone was getting mad about the... Uh, what was... Oh, it was 2002 and... Aquamothra. Aquamothra, because I was like, those guys are mid. I was like, okay, I'm yeah. just going to go into put my stuff into Ariok and Chibis. But now, four months later, five months later, whatever it is, we get the flying Gamera, who's stun immune mm -hmm. with damage reduction and does an AoE, will hit both the Chibis. The, like, one that the is a, one? That's a Chibis counter. GMK Ghidorah? Like, he has the damage up? Then the next yep. month, Ariok a uh, Destroya. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Like, was like there is a there is a counter and there is like a balancing act they'll introduce like a busted unit and then like for three or four months it'll be like at the top and then they'll introduce some they'll try to introduce something that like takes it down but they have a track record of making units just a little too busted and their counters not being good enough like mm -hmm. kumo augment when kumo augment was really powerful um they it's introduced 
Moth right. 2019. And right? the, yeah, Moth 2019 provides stun immune to the team. And then I believe King Ghidorah 2019 is just stun, stun immune. immune by default. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you both of those were added specifically um, because Kuma was running the meta. And at the time, King Ghidorah really didn't cut it. Mothra kind of helped. And then they still had to nerf Kumo a second time. So, like, the Chibis, they haven't nerfed the Chibis yet, but, like, Desgador having increased range messes up the Chibis. Oh, yeah. King, uh, uh, yeah, Desgador gets the increased range. That messes up the Chibis. Mecha King Ghidorah having that wide AoE and the damage boost that it got and the health boost it got and it's now stun immune also messes up the Chibis. Gamera Flying messes up the Chibis. The Gyron is AoE when the Chibis are at, when anyone's at 80% and it removes the debuffs. That counters the Chibis. Like, there are ways fast. to it's counter fast them. Back too. Like, yeah. 1.9. Like, I thought I was like, oh man, Guiron is mid this season. And everyone on the Discord's like, yeah, this guy sucks. And then, no, then he's by good. the end of the thing, it was like, wait a minute, this guy's S tier. <laughs> yeah, once people once people had some time to, like, kind of cook with them, you can find all the fun, like, weird little interactions and stuff. And, like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, they'll introduce a character or two that will be, like, super broken for, like, a few months so that everyone pays for them, then they'll introduce the next thing that is going to be better than them. Am I going to tell someone to invest in Gamera Flying over the Chibis? Probably not. But if you have a decently leveled Gamera Flying, guess what he's good against? The Chibis. Mm-hmm. Or like well, I have King my Gador and Desgador who've been around forever are now also really good against them. I adore Guiron from Gamma Rebirth. Like I got like my own six because I love their designs, mm -hmm. just their personality and stuff. I love Guiron from Gamma Rebirth so much. I was so happy they put him in a Godzilla battle line because he's so cool in the show. So I have him at level fourteen right now, like without nice. like the paint without the rent levels. And um, tomorrow I'm getting my level fifteen because of the Guiron piece and hopefully i can get him to like level 20 next month that's crazy because, yeah yeah because like that i love that guy like i love scar king i adore scar king like he's a pretty cool combo if you put scar king mm -hmm. pulling him in behind and then freaking we just does his little flip thing that'd be pretty it's a pretty cool combo along with chibis chibis and we are a pretty cool combo yeah and it's cheap say. too to get them both out for seven that's that's a lot for seven they'll, mm -hmm. they'll do a lot yeah, yeah the, I the didn't characters realize. Just getting more complex. Guiron actually does pretty well against Godzilla Earth because he'll just flip twice, and he has that mm -hmm. really high damage and everything, and he'll just keep shooting because Godzilla Earth has to shoot like five seconds. Guiron can like hit two shots from like seven hundred like damage. Yeah, he's hitting so the like... two shots before Earth gets the one. Uh huh. And, and they're if, both gonna get the eighty percent, so he gets the flip. Uh huh. If he's if he if he survives the first blast, he'll just shoot two more times. So that's like going to get a lot of like health off of Godzilla Earth, and that's three cost versus nine cost. So yeah. in a what it's like you have to like strategize. We are on a lot, especially along with uh, I could just call him Destroyer Alt. I know you call him Destroyer Dab. I don't know why. Yeah, like, well, it it's a Destroyer Ariake uh, battle. Oh, I thought you said it's Ariake version. I thought it said yeah. Ariake version. So I was like, where do you, where does he get the B from? The yeah, because it's battle, I believe, is what they call him in this. Let me go find him on my in my I, game real quick. Uh, oh, it says Ariake version, but when in their um, I guess in like in, in their, the blog uh, posts, in the blog post, it was Ariake battle. So everyone calls him Dab. Ah, uh, okay. I just call him destroy. I just call them all alt. Alt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, you shouldn't uh, even be destroy a dab because the D in dab is destroy us, so that's like saying like ATM machine. <laughs> <laughs> right, DC Comics. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, I wanted to get back to the whole balancing thing. I already went over, you know, the whole GVK because mm -hmm. I didn't realize how good like if Calm getting four, making him a four cost, like that would be really good. Uh, I guess if we wanted to make. G21, like, stun immune, six cost is really good then. Just yep. have to, like, do that. And then make Mecha Godzilla t uh, 21, like, hit air and make him five cost, and they'd all be very solid units. I don't know if they'd be better than the GXK units, but they'd be, no. still be solid selections, especially you, since if you, you would had, have like, to the give levels. them significant stat boost to be better than any of the Godzilla and Kong units. I mean, the Kong 
that we just mm-hmm. got is probably one of the best characters in the game. Like I'm so time. happy for that because I love King Kong, maybe more so than Godzilla, and that's gonna make people in the comments mad. But like I just lo- I just went on like a tangent. I made my whole monkey month last year. Mm-hmm. Just putting up like two hundred videos about like King Kong or Monkey or Ape adjacent contents or something, just random stuff. <laughs> so I have my Kong at like level twenty four on Battle Lines, so I because I really love mm-hmm. him. I got mine at 15. I got a soft spot for the ape. And I think he's I think he's legitimately one of the best characters. Same with Scar King. Scar King's definitely an S plus mm-hmm. tier character. No questions asked. Just a phenomenal kit. Like Kong and Scar King and Shimu have such complex kits compared to the Godzilla and Kong units. The Godzilla evolved his kit's not extremely complex. It's like pretty straightforward, but he's also has amazing stats. So mm-hmm. if you wanted to take the older units from Godzilla versus Kong and bring them up mm-hmm. to speed with the new ones. I don't you would not just only do some kind of rebalancing to their kit. They would need full stat readjustments I, as well. I, I think, think if we made them at least eights here, I'd be perfectly fine with that, which I think yeah. my suggestions for them, I think they'd be good and like you could just swap them out for just for fun. Mm-hmm. And you could probably use them at, like especially like D21 if he was stun immune, you'd probably use him. Yeah. In different ways than probably some of the other GSK units. So if if G twenty one was stun immune, he would be seeing a lot more play and it would be a lot more um you wouldn't have to try to sneak him around or stuff like that. You could just let him just tear it up. I was really hoping that they'd try to update Con twenty one and have him with the axe, you know, but it is what it is. But yeah, I'm just I, I didn't want a... them to do evolutions for any of them or alts. I'm happy with what we got. I'm just glad we have a good, like, we got, like, a meta Kong unit. But anyways, back to the thing. I hope that, I think this isn't a buff, but just, like, get the Shin units back in or, like, find a way to get us to, like, upgrade the three-star units because I really want my 10th Angel to be level 30. (laughs) Oh, you missed out on it. Yeah, I was level 28, so that sucks, but... I'm surprised think... they didn't add some kind of currency like a G material for like the collab units. Like they should just was... add like a like Shin Heroes coin or something. I was hoping they the upgrade tokens would be that way for mm-hmm. the new currency, but that's not how it is. I that yeah, it doesn't seem like that's what it's gonna be. I kind of wish it was like that was instead of like the whole pieces thing. Like that way, like they can monetize you if you want to go with specifically with one unit. They, mm-hmm. he's like okay you you can get these free ones but you can buy so you can upgrade more like that'd be a good monetization thing for them but yeah for I the think... shin units i think all here's like what i would go like a, a streak if they ever like bring like the shin japan heroes universe collab thing like they could probably burn back do, probably if they do a shin ultra no, not shin ultraman rising thing they probably mm. buff like the ultraman units but if they do that that's kind of like a wish list for another time because I wish they would. There's a lot of units I wish they bring, but for the ones that we have, I'll start with the Ultraman ones. I, I think when he was released, I thought he was pretty uh, good. Ultraman, what would oh, you when do he was for, released? He was meta. What would you do that with him? Because he he's stun immune. Like he's even stun immune when he's in a he's in a. His I leader. would revert. I would just revert the nerf that they gave him. What was the nerf? They like lowered his damage and his they like lowered his stats and I I don't remember exactly what they did, but whatever it was 2 years ago, it took him completely out of the meta cuz he was everywhere. Then they nerfed him and no you never saw him again. I would revert the nerf and then increase his damage because he is not going to be able to compete with some of the units that they're adding. He does too little damage. I have mine at 16 and he only does 457 damage. All right, then we would just do we'll just do like the whole stat increase thing yeah. for him. He would just re- revert his nerf and then increase his stats, and I think you're fine. If you wanted I... to keep his stats this way, like just revert the nerf and make him a four cost or a three, and then call it a day. All right, for Naranga, I always thought like he was good when he was out there, but he I think his range is just too small, in my opinion. His range is 65. That is pretty average. I would I maybe it make it 70 be or 75. Yeah, yeah, 75. I think that's fine. He, I think he has like, 
I always like he reminds me of Anguirus, but not much of a tank as much of mm -hmm. a tank. Yeah, he's a lot squishier. Once he decloaks, mm -hmm. it's it's all over. So I would maybe increase his range to like seventy or seventy five and then take his mm -hmm. attack speed to like two point three. Oh yeah, it's just, even two point seven is too too much, especially with Chibis on, out here. Mm -hmm. Two point five would be fine. I think maybe increase his health by ten percent as well. Yeah, I don't mind his I, damage being low. He's not there to do damage. He's there to yeah. Lock he, he's up an more opponent. there just to stop. Especially if we go by the movie, he doesn't do much. Yeah, but mine's at level thirty. And he his health is two thousand three hundred forty four. I think he should be something like. Hmm. 250 and 200 2500 at least yeah mine's 32 and it's uh 2368 and his attack is 572 so if he's level 32 for me i'd like his attack to at least be like 240 something right or 2400 something i should say now but he's pretty decent still but Me could use Memphis, an adjustment like i love the character in the movie he's great six costs is not it he needs to be four that's it. Yeah, I remember Make it. Make four cost. Call it a day. If, Everything else he has is pretty decent. Is, let me see. Like <laughs> his health is level good. Thirty. His, his attack is six six hundred fifty four. Oh, it's mm -hmm. two point six though. Two point six attack speed for at level thirty. Uh, no, his attack speed is two point two. Two point two. I mean, yeah, but that's pretty good. He stuns for point six seconds. He's his reach is sixty. Maybe increase his reach to seventy. And then keep his attack speed the same. His stats are fine. It's just it is just the cost. Like for six yeah. cost, this is not it. Make him like a three cost, and then he's done. Like that's if he's fine. three cost, I don't know. That might be too OP. If he's three cost, he's not doing a ton of a damage. He's got a decent amount of HP, but like let's take a look at another third level thirty, uh, gold unit. Gigan has like about has less stats than him what about the fourth or tenth angel what is this tenth angel has similar like hp to him uh fourth angel has similar hp as well so he would be able to tank a decent amount make him like a four cost five not five four Cause four cost six, i think would be not, perfectly not fine i just think his rank should be like 65 at least i can see that i could take that like make his sixty five range is just five more, and then just make his cost four. Like mm -hmm. then he'd be mm -hmm. like pretty fun unit to do. Because he's not stun immune like Ultraman, so no, yeah. So uh, the other one is Z Zeton. Oh dear God, Zeton. Zeton. My favorite Zeton, unit like... in the game. One of my favorite units. I love Zeton. At, mine's at level seven, and my. The attack in his fourth stage is 102 for 1.2 seconds. So, like, let's just say two seconds. He does 200 damage in two, two seconds. <laughs> I know. Mine's mine's level 12. I would, for this, I would keep everything the same except his attack. I would just crank up his attack. His attack needs to be, like, freaking 500% more damage. <laughs> at level four, like, it should be doing, like, 300 damage a hit. I would bring his attack speed uh, down first, to 1.1 as well. I think it should just be one second. Mm. You know what? And I don't the mind other if thing, these and the other thing attack... is movement yeah, speed, you one. You want him to Not move forward? Four. Move him one speed because I I like the idea of this moving fortress mm -hmm. slowly moving towards thing because that would... Like, you, because it's like, oh, you need to use kids in order to, like, get that leader damage off on him. Like, we'll just make him one cost. Like, if the other, if the, you're able to, like, get him over there, like, you did a good job defending Zetson. Yeah, I like that, actually. That's a good idea. That's pretty out yeah, of like, make, I've like, never heard anyone have, say that. Like, if you made him slowly move, even slower than, like, Godzilla Earth, because this is an eight cost, like, just one, mm -hmm. one less than Earth. So he moves faster, but Zetson will have that same sort of like damage like fear factor that like uh uh minus one alt form has on the leader yeah yeah mm -hmm. where it like builds up and you're like oh god i gotta get rid of him mm -hmm. you gotta get rid rid of him and he, he slowly because i think he slowly like moves towards the earth very slowly like mm -hmm. he ascends towards the earth in the movie 
So I want that same sort of feeling when, like, he moves at one speed. <laughs> Imagine, like, you know, guy get guy gets speed, like, activating that, like, then that is hell. Like, the leader yeah, ability. I, I really desperately want Zetan to get some kind of love. He has one of my favorite kits. I think it's hilarious. I think I, I really tried to push Zetan, like, Zetan would be a, months, is a really like, good last piece. summer. He is probably one of the best defensive units, period. He's probably one of the best all-star battle units, period. He just doesn't do, like, any damage. And in this current environment where everything's stats are cranked up, like, he needs to be doing more damage. So he needs to need 500% like, damage increase. So, like, mine is at level 7 right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the attack in his fourth stage is 102 so that'd be like 500 damage and if it was like attack speed at one that'd be like every two seconds that's a thousand damage yeah that would I mean that would kill most things in like four seconds mm -hmm. so like that's 2000 so that that'd be fine and if he was slowly moving at one speed it isn't that that he has like the most powerful attack generally basically but mm -hmm. if he's able to get over to your leader in time before he he explodes, or if it, they aren't he's able, he's like a moving to kill bomb. Him. Like you got yeah, he's kill a moving him. bomb. He's a moving bomb. That like he would see a whole new game pl play with that whole yeah. thing. But he's also good at defending your units. Like he will slow. He will help in that push as well. Like he can do a lot of things with that eight cost. Like he could defend your unit. He can also be like your backup if you're like using that slow push with all your other units. Mm -hmm, and he can mm -hmm. also just be that fear factor for your leader because if he detonates at expiration of five, that's forty damage, forty percent of the health of the leader. That is a lot of. That's a huge. That's a massive chunk of the leader's health. Yeah, right instead there. of just using that like at the kids end of the match and with kids, you could just do it all the time. Like, or you get I the think opportunity they, to do it more often. Did they fix the glitch where Earth pushes him? I have no idea. Because I don't I wouldn't really rely on that. <laughs> so No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't in this particular meta that we're in to drop Earth and Zeton is not reliable. Mm-hmm. So I mean it's that's funny, how it, but it's not reliable. Zeton is Zeton would get the hugest like buff. Like you just have mm -hmm. to rechange him and everything. But this is if they even care enough to do that or go that further length. This is just for any Anyone who might be less watching this, which is no one from the battle line team, but that's just how I would do it. It would just be a really cool idea. I agree. I like that a lot as well. Uh, go to the Evangelion ones because those were the next ones of the Shin ones. Uh, Ava Unit 1, I think, should just be 5 cost because I think his animations going in between him running and stuff is just too much. But if he was yeah, like 5 she, cost, I she think needs, that would be... She just needs to not run. Yeah, just have that's... the shield up all the time. Mm -hmm. Just have her walk, have mm -hmm. that shield up all the time, and she will never have to stop and readjust. That and her then make her a five cost. Reach, that's it. The reach should also just be like eighty because sixty five yeah, is low just reach. I do like seven. If she's gonna continue walking always, like seventy five. Mm -hmm. I think like I know they won't like be able to like fix animations where the, the animation's faster and stuff so mm -hmm. i'm just thinking just remove it just make it so that animation doesn't even isn't even there in the first place and we're straight i yeah but if they're not gonna do that because it's probably easier just like increase their health mm -hmm. so that way when they they get out of it and increase their range and stuff and th then i think that's fine because i think it's they double their damage. It says range damage on my thing for level 7 at 583. Don't they, like, uh, when they shoot, when she shoots her, like, machine gun, it's, like, twice damage uh, or something? Damage taken from enemies reduced by 30%. Uh, no, she's just immune to explosions, and when she's running, she's immune to damage by 30%. I mean, like, when she's doing her attack, like, it's... It says on mine it's 583, but is it like double because I know like she has an AOE, or like she can shoot? Uh, I like, think she's piercing. Swarming. Oh, it's I think piercing. she can pierce through okay, other so units. You know, okay, so no, that 583 is that no, that's that's 
increase health and damage, and then make her five cost. Yep, that's, that's pretty much what I would probably say for all the Eva Gillian units. Just like lower their cost, yep. increase their stats. They they all need like just increased stats. All of them have really good kits. They just need increased stats and then and maybe like one lowered cost and they're good. Like that's really it. All the Evangelians are suffering from just stats. Just increase their stats, lower their cost because six cost for a bunch of these, especially Ava eight. Yeah. Oh man. I mean, I, Ava eight. I would pay six cost if her damage was way higher. She yeah, if she would because she's a sniper. If we got that, if we increase the health and stuff. Mm hmm. Because she's like really good. Like if she was like Godzilla Ultima levels of. Health if and she damage. if she had super if she was Godzilla Ultima levels of health and damage with the range she had now she would be one of the best units in the game, period. Basically, just do what I, what we just said mm -hmm. for all the evil giving units. Just stats increase, lower the cost by one for all of them, and that's it. Because I think yep. they're just their basic damage is way too low, their health is way too low, and it's like they're way too high high of cost. I, I get that was probably the thing because that's how it was back then when this stuff happened, but we're in a different time, so if we bring them back, which I really hope because I really mm -hmm. would love to be able to use some of these third-party units because it's really cool to actually see all these like different franchises coming together, especially Gamera. I never thought this day would come, so it's really cool to see all this stuff. So yeah, yeah. I want to so, make the third party unit units viable for as long as possible because it's just so interesting to have them all together. But I get why they don't do that is because they they go away and they don't want to like waste time on that. Mm -hmm. Well, if they ever come back, there's hope for a change because we've yeah. seen multiple times with the Godzilla versus Kong units that generally when they come back, they get some kind of adjustment. Yeah. Anyways. Fifth Angel doesn't need anything. They're perfectly fine. They're very, very good still. Yeah, the, both Angels are still very good. So the I would just leave them alone. The only thing I would say for Fifth Angel is they should be immune to minus ones like thing. Oh, yeah. Well, they have it written for on death explosion they're immune to, not on spawn explosion. Yeah. Same I with guess. um. Uh, is they, should the... do that. they should add that, though. It's one of the it's the alt god the alt Godzilla. 54, it was Tokyo I think version also alt. Yeah. is immune to is immune to self destruct, but not immune to on spawn explosions. I think that those two I think those two need that buff, that uh immunity. I think that would make mm -hmm. them even bit more viable because I always saw like Jack of all trades for the tenth angel, and I think Tokyo version would be even like like even higher up on on the tier list if they had that immunity yeah, they to just minus add, like the other add other effects to him as it goes on then it would be pretty solid i think they added that the whole ice thing that shimo does to uh 50 to the tokyo version yep. didn't they? he has freeze on here he, uh, he's immune to stun slow burning acid knockback and freeze and then he's immune to the effects pieces like dimension tide and missiles and stuff and then so he that, has self-destruct resist as well so it should just also be on on spawn like explosions. The on spawn explosions. I agree. That'd because be a nice little it, change to him. Because it I don't also because it, because it's still like an explosion. Because so like tenth angel should still be able to take that explosion because it you know in the move movie they were able to take explosion. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so I we, we just talked about Tokyo, but when we were talking about the freezing thing, uh, freaking. Uh, the uh what are they called freezing the you know the sunday they should also get the new freeze thing yes yeah i that would, agree that would make it very good very viable as well i know people are i think like pans and someone else i don't remember 99 orga trying talked to make, about yeah 99 for, orga has been doing because, it because they can for two costs and they can take away uh rainbow moth rainbow moth like that's exactly what it was mm -hmm. but the, yeah i just think that's way like that's very specific and like you don't know if they're going to use rainbow mothra so there's not much you shouldn't really like expect that yeah i agree i agree so but if they added that that whole like shimo thing and it was just because it's just a one time effect versus like shimo keep doing it as long as she's on the battlefield mm -hmm. like for two costs that'd be very good because sunday just not not it 
No, I agree with you. I agree with the freezing for sure. Mm -hmm. What other units did I w want? Because I want to make sure even if it was like one star units, they should still be pretty good. I mean, I remember when I first started the game. They're supposed to be super good. Are they, are they're small cost, but they, they can still like be useful. Like Kamakuras was for the longest time really good. I remember still, when Kamakuras still first still playing... halfway decent. Yeah. I just don't want them to be like, mmm, that's tasty Godzilla vault food. Yeah. I, I I think out of the bronze units, Kamakuras, the Octopus, and Manila, and the Sande, or not Sande, the uh, Psychic Horse are pretty good. Sande, like we said, I would add the Freeze. The Emboss, I would maybe give them more health. They don't really need to be super I impactful. Think the, I think they sh Like, I wish facilities... I wish we had more facilities that were good. Mm-hmm. It's just that they have small health. I I would increase their health. Like maybe they can tank one hit, and if like there there's a, like a higher unit for like maybe like Khan or something like they the, wouldn't. The they would only be just one need hit. to survive trains. They need to just survive a hit from trains. Oh yeah, that's that's just be a thing. Like facilities themselves should survive trains. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the like when they spawn the the tanks and stuff, but I yeah increase the health of the facilities and the uh you know all that stuff but you mentioned manila manila i think should ha have like either he becomes one cost or he, he needs to like lower his attack speed and damage because i have him at level 31 and he's only 197 damage and he's 1,097 i would just like, lower his attack speed they nerfed him. They nerfed Manila twice. Yeah. I would just revert the nerfs. Because the stuns... Yeah. He doesn't have a ton of health. He's not going to survive too much these days. And there's a bunch of stuff that's stun immune. So just revert the nerfs on Manila and I think you're fine. He's good. He has good range, but he takes a while for that attack. So yeah. that's why well, you should... Because of the nerfs, yeah. They just, they just revert, revert it. I guess revert his ner nerfs and that should be fine, which basically is just a buff. Yeah. Anytime a, a nerf is reverted, I guess it, it really is like a buff. Mm hmm. But, uh. What are, what other units are you really hoping? Oh, man. Re remember the Super X? I think it should be a four cost. Yeah. Probably. Super X goes to four or revert the nerf to Super X. There's a bunch well, of the, units. If it revert the nerf to Super X, it would be three cost, right? Yeah. But I'm saying, like, uh, it got, uh,. It got the damage decrease or something too. It didn't just get the it didn't yeah, just get the cost increase. I think its attack speed went up too. Two point nine right now. Its attack yeah. at level twenty five is uh hundred thirty nine. So yeah, at thirty it's one fifty five. Right. I think give making it a four cost, especially since it ha has like the most range of the game, is perfectly fine. I think. Mm hmm. Like, what's his health at level 30? 823. Yeah. Yeah, any, any like, good range, like, ultimate just going to hit, knock him out with one hit. But four yeah, costs. It's, like, it's going to be to have better. the longest range and then be, like, a glass, uh, almost it's like a glass, glass cannon. cannon. Yeah, it would be a glass. It's a glass cannon, but for four costs, it, it's better than five costs. Like, I remember how mm -hmm. annoying he was to deal with, but if he's four costs, like, you could still get him some use out of him before, before he just goes complete. Or, like, if you have some good tank unit he can like pick them off like be be like like picking them off taking a little little bit of piece at a time and stuff so yeah like i like using sniper units and i wish super x and unit 8 were better because i would put them with ultima and manila and have like a field day well we got some some ideas of how to buff them so hopefully those come to play sometime that's speaking right of, speaking of which the basic units mechagodzilla no, I don't. Rodan. I don't think. We're, I don't think they need to be changed at all. They're tutorial units. They yeah, they but, need yeah, to just stay normal. I, well, I want some tutorial units out there, man. Why don't we make them three cost? We you can make them three cost. They're still not going to be good. Yeah, but they would still be better than it is right now. That's all I say. Just make that's, them three cost fair. units. Like move them up, maybe in the low end of C tier, or mm -hmm. at least in the high end of D tier. Like, yeah, not just in, not in the, I, I, I list them at the top of D tier. So let's just make them at the low end of C tier, 
and that I think will be perfectly fine with that. Yep, just lower the costs. Anguirus, I think, has too too slow. Anguirus fifty five. There's only one Anguirus, but I think his tax speed should probably be like two point five or two point six. Mm-hmm. It's, it's two point seven right now. He should just like, be. It should be two point four, and he and a three cost. He he's really good. He's a good health pool at level thirty. He's four thousand three hundred ninety seven for me. And his attack yeah, is with his attack is eight twenty two. Mm hmm. Like that's re- that is still a pretty good like thing. Yeah, I mean, I just decrease his attack speed and lower his cost by one. I think you're golden on him too. I think I think because he's that a tutorial would... tank. That is true. Like, let's get all the t- tutorial ones like at three cost. Like, speaking of which, if we go back to like Mark two, three cost. Yeah, like all make them all like, like three cost. I, uh, I guess increase like Mecha Godzilla ninety three's damage by ten percent as well as his health because his is two point five as attack speed. So at least like make because at level twenty five is six. 630 maybe just make him like 700 attack and like i don't know 2800 at level 30 mm-hmm. not level 25 or something like 3000 health at level 30 like just get get him to like he's all right he's just a you know tutorial unit three costs they're all three cost units if you besides if you're like in the, the tutorial thing and you like at a beginner player like Having these, like, basic, like, flying tutorial, regular, like, ground but shoots air tutorial and tank tutorial, if you have all three and you could just shoot them all for nine energy, that'd be pretty pretty good to use. Yeah, it's like a new player, like, get them all out on the field. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Like, that'd be a good way to tutorial them instead of, like, having them all at four costs. So, what was Rodan's stats? 64 stats. Because I... He has the fastest speed in the game, so it'd be really cool. To... He is... Da, 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 da. His stats level 30 is 2,617 health, 509 attack. His attack speed is 1.4. His reach is 35. His movement speed is 26. Let's see. I think comparing him to Gigan at some... Like, I think Gigan did 04 does more damage in that span of time, so... I think I would just increase his damage probably like 15 percent, and then i think maybe his health by 10 percent, and then i think that'd be fine and of course all of them are just mm-hmm. like i'm just getting out what whatever just off the base of my mind that might be able to at least give him like maybe a little bit more time on the field for tutorial reasons and mm-hmm. like maybe for whoever just wants to like use like a small cost team yeah and they just have him at like a high level unit until they need to like get a good actual unit no offense to anyone who loves him but i do like showa rodan a lot as a character so that's just me spitting right now no Uh, listen you were you were spitting on that (laughs) slobbering even (laughs) (laughs) i appreciate it uh kamakura swarm oh boy what would you do i would just delete him (laughs) <laughs> Take him out of the game. I think he could be useful if he lowered his cost by maybe two. I've had them at level 10 since the first season of the game. I uh, don't intend to invest in them ever. Here's what their stats are like at level 30. Their HP is 742. Their attack is 276. They have attack speed of 1.3. Their search range is 50. Their reach is 35. Movement speed is 20. So, if I think in cer- certain circumstances, if we're talking about like ones that are like have only like they can only single target attack, like Earth or something, they could be useful because they have 1.3 attack speed and like almost 300 health for the, the, the 300 hard damage. thing with the swarms is there's just so much AOE going on. Des Ghidorah, mm-hmm. King Ghidorah, Gyron, um, GMK, the Fourth Angel, um, minus one Kong jumping, Shimu's blast, Godzilla evolve. It's hard mm-hmm. to really fairly, I think, balance the swarms. 
I think they just need a health increase to make them at least survive one hit of AoE. Mm. So it, usually, I think the AoEs are like, if they're at like a decent level, they're like 1,000 damage. And right now, my level 30 Kamakura Swimmer is 742. So if we increase their health, like let's say 300 mm. at level 30, like so they're like got like a, a little over a thousand health. So that maybe they can like get a hit off on one of those units. I think that and like lower their costs like maybe three and then maybe I just think like maybe if we got like the regular Kamakaris to one cost, so you can at least like like I know they would still get wiped out, but at least like they'd be helpful against like freaking King Caesar or like freaking Mothra Leo or something like that, or they'd just be at least something while you're just standing there like like a sitting duck so you can get something out there. Yeah, maybe we'd lower their cost. A lot like, a like four three. Or three. Yeah, because I I'd say they are three because they can only hit ground and destroy a larva hits hits air. Mm -hmm. Speaking of destroy a larva, I would increase their health as well because they at level thirty one, they're five hundred and ninety three health. Make it like a thousand, like I said, because they're all grouped up together and then increase their damage like by a hundred so they have 300 attack. That's my those are just my suggestions is just stats increase and then lo lower the cost for the Kamakura swarm and the regular Kamakuras. One for the you know the, the regular one and then the swarm by two. That's how I do it because I think uh, the flying the Dorats are two cost. Yeah, and they can like they they fly, so they obviously have that advantage. So, I think that would be perfectly fine. No, I I, I fine. am inclined to agree with you, Rick. But I will also let you know that we've been going for an hour. Oh man, I would I would love to continue, <laughs> but it seems no, like we maybe we do it again. Well, there's a new season coming up with new characters, so maybe we do it a second time. Oh yeah, we should probably do that. We can talk more about this stuff and. Uh, if I wanted to have my prediction of what I would love to see, I'm not yeah, even okay. going to talk about third party stuff. I'd love to see uh, Varen because people want Varen. I'd love to see mm -hmm. uh, the Gargantuas, but I think that's already going to happen. Uh, hope they get fi like King of the Monsters Rodan because he's absent, so that feels weird. Like if they brought King of the Monster season back, they'd have Rodan and Burning Godzilla. I had know. a uh, prophetic dream that. Godzilla 1998 would be added next season, so my fingers are crossed for him or Zilla next season. If they did that, what would the second unit be? I guess would it just be an alt unit? Then? Pile of fish. Oh, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it'd be compelled. It'd be compelled. It's a compelled unit. The fish. Mm -hmm. pile of Drop fish. the pile of fish and it compels the, it compels the monsters to the pile of fish. Mm-hmm. That's Yeah, great. I think with your head. Mm-hmm. But all right. I'd I don't mean to cut you off, but I, I was, we're going on an hour. I'm going to end it on that because I think we've had a really good discussion so far. And I would love to do another one of these with you. Sounds good. I hope people enjoyed it. Awesome. I hope they enjoyed it too. And if you liked Rick and what he had to say, you can follow him on his YouTube and his Twitter and his letterbox. And, uh, and whatever. Wherever else if you can find him. So that's what I got for you today. I think that's what Rick's got for you today. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.